Okay, before we get started in the tutorial, I need to make it a big disclaimer, and I'm heavily stressing this out. Before you get started, I need you to go on Google or YouTube and Google how to animate in Blender, or basic animations in Blender. If you're a Maya user or Maya student, then how an basic animations in Maya or how to animate in Maya. And if you even want to take it, if you want to get even more advanced with animation, then by all means, you can check out how to animate in Unity. Please Google all that and I want you to you know watch the tutorial that pop up take your time do not skim through it because you might actually miss some information very important for information so take your time and slowly go through them and I'm telling you right now it's because animation is not easy this tutorial even though it exists and I'm trying to dumbify my process on how I do stuff it's not easy and it never will be there is a lot of time where I would have an animation for a client and even i have some struggles like how to animate wings sometimes um i experience some issues with animating a client's wings or a tail even and they should be pretty simple right but they're not um animation is just never easy you're gonna probably have some rare bug that might pop up i'm warning you right now please google check out unity forums or the unity user manual or even blender's user manual there's a lot of information out there and i'm telling you right now a lot of information I've learned is from Google. So if I can Google, I think you can. Unless there's a reason why you can't Google, which, um, I, I don't know. You, you gotta explain that to me why you can't Google. But either way, um, and I also need to make another disclaimer too regarding my mocap files because I am giving out 30 mocap samples completely free under public domain, commercial use. You do whatever you want with it. Um, and I even have the file, the explanation file right here on how to use the mocap files. And I even put the rule saying, do not resell my mocap files. Do not claim the mocap files as your own. Buy a mocap suit if you really want to claim your own mocap files as your own. Um, and also don't use it for anything abusive or slander. So don't, you know, re it should make sense. And if by any chance I need to translate this in a different language so you understand, please let me know and I'll gladly translate it. Um, or get someone else to translate properly. Believe me, I, I will, I will make sure it happens. But either way, there's even explanations, and there's even a written tutorial. So if you want the short version of my tutorial, it's literally right there in the README, literally right there. Simple as that. And this also works with Mixama animation. So if you don't want to use my file, but let's say you will have a Mixama animation. These instructions also work on Mixama animations. My files also, my mo my mocap files are made from, you know, the Rokuko mocap suit. So I have tutorials linked here and Blender animation tutorials on how to use my Rokuko mocap fi files and also how to animate in Blender. Simple as that. If you can't Google, literally right there. Shouldn't be that hard. Um, and let's say you don't want to do the animation edit because I'm telling you right now, these mocap files that I gave out they're completely raw they have not been edited there's a couple there's a lot of issues with them but they still work really well you'll have to clean up the mocap data basically and i haven't done that because um as of right now in the making this video i have not gotten the time to edit these files and i'm actually um like i said if you check the date of this tutorial right now since this date right now i'm actually quite booked on commissions and other projects it's probably going to take about three to five months maybe even more for me to be able to properly edit these files so i can't be able to edit these files because i have bad you know my schedule is really tight right now and packed so i'm telling you right now please learn how to edit the files if you don't want to do it just dm me on discord um if you have 50 bucks to spare then i'll gladly um you know set up a commission with you and then i'll gladly do the uh animation edit myself and i'll also make sure the mocap file fits to your character specifically um and i'm telling you 50 dollars per mocap um file that i have to edit it's because animation ain't easy it's gonna take hours for me to do the cleanup depending on the model and depending on what you want um, so I'm telling you right now, $50 per motion. And it, and I'm also saying too, is that this $50 only applies to my mocap. If you're using someone else's mocap, this doesn't apply. I ain't gonna edit the file. Sorry. But that's really all I have to say though, and let the tutorial begin. 
Hika, hika, hika. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'll be showing you guys about how to set up humanoid animation with a VSF SDK. Now, there's a couple stuff that you need to know about before we get into the VSF avatar stuff of things, um, which is the reason why I'm in Blender right now, because the thing is, is that with my own technique, um... We, I'm actually I actually use Blender to create FBX animations and basically I load those FBX animations into the VSF SDK or VSF animations component which I'll show you guys about that but before I get started um, there are some things I need to let you guys know about um, and it's regarding some copyright on animations now I have a feeling already that some people are thinking about putting MMD animations into their VSF avatar I will say right now, for MMD animations, they pretty much all every single MMD animation, you're not supposed to commercialize. Uh, and as a VTuber, typically most VTubers commercialize off of their things, such as donations, or maybe they get like a monthly payment from Twitch or YouTube. I'm not, sh I'm not gonna explain depth on the payment thing, but basically, um, I highly recommend do not use MMD animation for your VSF after. If you really want to, be my guest about it. But I highly don't recommend it, and I'm not going to show how to do the MMD um, conversion, just uh, so that way, you know, I don't get in trouble with uh, promoting um, kind of like bad behavior when it comes to people profiting off of other people's works, if that makes sense. But I do, I will say, um, there are some sites, there's a couple sites, um, there's this one big one that I can recommend if you are looking for pre-existing animations. Um... This, this website is called Mixamo. Mixamo is the biggest um, mocap website. You can get it for free. You can commercialize off the mocap and you can use it for your very own projects. It's really, I highly recommend it. And there's also a couple of meme dances in there as well. So if you're looking for some meme dances, there's probably a couple you might be able to find. So check out in the link in the description for Mixamo. Make sure you use your Google account to make a Adobe account. It's really easy and um, highly recommend you can download the FBX. And if you do download uh, Mixamo animations, you can actually skip the Blender step. Um, you technically can um, skip the step of Blender. Um, if by any chance you have some issues, I'll probably explain regarding the possible issues when it comes to mocap stuff. Um, but before we get to that, um, that's just something I want to say. Um, I will also say I do have my own package. So if you want... Um, some other samples of some mocap data. I have my own package that I've made some mocap data from my Rokoko mocap suit. Uh, just so that way you know you can use it to your own. Uh, you can use a commercial use. Um, I don't mind. I set my stuff anytime I set anything in public, I set them to public domain. So use it however you want. You don't have to credit, but it's appreciated. But yeah. But anyway, though, um, now. Now that you kind of get an idea regarding the, uh, probably the, I'm sorry for rambling, but basically, um, at least you know about some sort of, you know, MMD copyright and Mixamo. At least you kind of get, no, get an idea about some resources that are available for you. But now, let's get into the actual thing. So I'll be demonstrating um, with the, like, basically we're going to make a simple pose for the um, character here. So that way we can port that pose into VSF. Um... Now, another thing also, in case you're wondering about how to put your model into Blender, because I'm pretty sure some people might be wondering how to get that. Well, in the link in description, like I said, most of the resources and add-ons are in the link in description. You will need the VRM Blender add-on. And I link in the I put link in description the uh, newest version of the add-on. I'm currently using 3.1.2 of Blender. Um, so if you have that version, it will work. Don't worry. I've tested it. So you'll have to go file, import, import your VRM uh, if you have the add-on. In case you don't know how to install the add-on, you'll have to go to Edit, Preferences, and then you'll have to go to the Add-ons tab and then click on Install. Double-click on the zip file for the VRM add-on and it should install it. And if you have to, you might have to reset Blender, but pretty much you should be able to file Import VRM and then import your VRM all. It may take a couple minutes, it may take a lot longer depending on how much polygons and how much assets are on your model, but it should load eventually, so give it some time. 
Um, higher poly models tend to probably take about 20 minutes or even 30 minutes. Um, but that really depends. It shouldn't take that long, but yeah. But either way though, um, now that you also got that information, once you have your model in Blender, um, let's get started with making some animation. Now I'm not going to go full in depth on making animation from scratch. Like I said, resources are in the description if you want more information. But pretty much though, uh, we can, you know, do some poses. So you can select the armature, go into pose mode in the top left corner. And then you can select your mesh and I'm using the R key to rotate the bones. Um, and also I'm using the numpad to change camera views, by the way. If you don't have, uh, if you do not have uh, a numpad at all, then just do view, viewport, and then just select these if you want. But pretty much uh, you should be able to navigate. If you um, by any chance have no idea how to navigate through Blender, please check out my Dumbify Blender series. Uh, preferably the first episode. That way you can kind of get started regarding on how to navigate through Blender since I won't be going fully over on every single shortcut. I'm not going to repeat the shortcuts because it's already explained in the video that I made. Um, but let's go ahead and make a pose. So simply just the R button. Do it however you want. Um... I'm just going to make it very simple, um, so let's see here, so we'll just like kind of pose this and stuff, and just to also give you a little trick when it comes to posing fingers, um, this is a really great trick, so let's say you do not want to manually like pose it like this, right, you want it to kind of like automatically rotate, right? So what you can do uh, is you can select all your finger bones. You don't have to select the end bones here. These are extras, but uh, you can select your bones here. Select uh, this top button right here. Uh, and for median point, because by default be median point, you can select on individual origins and you can actually be able to uh, pose your fingers very easily. Um, and I will give a shout out to uh, Dami-san who actually showed me how to do this. Uh, so thank you very much, Dami-san. Um, anyways though, let's just quickly pose the fingers real fast. Um, I highly recommend when it comes to, uh, posing your, you know, making your animation or poses for VSF Avatar, please don't use any special constraints or IKs or anything like that. I know it's much more easier, um, it's much more easier to, like, pose your model with constraints or IKs and stuff, but when you're exporting... Um, as FBX, FBX will actually uh, remove your constraints and IKs and stuff. Um, so just a little heads up there, if in case you're a more advanced user and you plan on using IKs, it's probably not going to work the way you want it. So just manually pose it like this. You can also pose the legs if you want to. Um, and make sure also that when you're making the pose, make sure you don't rename the bones. Unless the bone, I mean, technically, you could rename the bones if you wish, because when you register the FBX, uh, the FBX animation into Unity, technically, VSF Avatar is pretty smart. It'll kind of like retarget re really well. Um, but I don't recommend uh, for new beginners to rename the bones for like, you know, because for example, for Void Models, they have J, Bip, R, Upper Arm. And technically for Blender, if you want to like mirror bones, um, you'll have to have the underscore R at the end right here. Just a heads up there. Just to give a little extra information regarding poses. Um, but yeah. But um, try, I'm going to try not to overly complicate and um, let's just move on from here. So we have our pose right here. Um, you know, what looks well. Take your time to make the pose yourself. If you want to make uh, a little extra information here, if you want to make something like wing animation or tail wag animation, technically you can make that in Unity. Check out my BSF avatar tutorial regarding that. But um, you can actually do the same thing here. So if you're trying to make like a, you know, a humanoid waving animation, like you're waving at people and you're making your tail wag or your ears wag or something like that, yes, you can also animate with it. And I can quickly show you how to do that. So first things first, we have our pose here. Select everything, press the I button, and then press on location, rotations, and scale. That way we can register our first keyframe. Now, um, if we are going to make an animation, uh, make sure to also be very careful on the keyframes. Because you don't want to make your keyframes too far apart, otherwise it'll look slow. I usually start by 5, so like uh, I start from keyframe 1 then jump to keyframe 5 and then I kind of adjust my keyframes from there. So if I'm trying to make a waving animation, I would just select the arm and then kind of just like move it basically. 
um, just to kind of give you the idea, basically. Um, so you can just register it, basically, um, keyframe. If you also want to make it easier for yourself as well, like make it kind of like every time you hit I, it's kind of like auto keyframe. Uh, you can also select keying right here, select active keyframe set, and then select on location, rotation, and scale. And that way, every time you hit I, you don't have to have that big window pop up. It'll be much more easier. And then pretty much you have an animation here. Very simple. Um, it doesn't have to be, like for you, you might want to be perfect on the, your animation. So please take your time on it. Animation is not easy. It probably will take you probably a couple minutes to a couple hours, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Um, but as you can see, we have a wave animation. Just very simple. I'm not going to go full detail on it, but that's just to give you the idea. Um, and do keep in mind also, if by any chance you experience some lag with Blender, your animation might kind of look different in Blender and Unity. Uh, so please make sure to take your time and experiment because this is going to take a lot of experimenting. Now that we have now that we have our animation already finished, um, we can actually export this into FBX. Uh, technically, you can actually just delete the mesh if you want and just you know, export out the skeleton, but for this case, I wouldn't do that. Let me just quickly attach the mesh to the, to the skeleton though. And also right here on the hierarchy on the top right, I'm actually going to go ahead and name this animation waving. There we go. Uh, that way Unity will see it, uh, as its name. So waving armature will be wave wave and that should be good. Um, and now that we have that, we can select everything file export fbx and then i'm gonna go ahead and find my test folder test animation name it however you want make sure to apply your transformation and also remove leaf bones if you wish some animations um might have some issue when you apply transformation so use that at your own risk but let me go ahead and export fbx um, so now that we have that, we can actually go ahead and swap over to Unity. So I will see you guys then. Alright, so now that we're in Unity, now we can actually get started with the process of setting up our animation or pose in uh, VSF Avatar. Uh, so make sure that in case you guys don't know regarding the unity setup like i said please check out my vsf avatar tutorial uh showing you guys how to set up vsf how to set up your new vrm and all that but i'll kind of just kind of give you like a brief uh explanation as to how the setup will work so in the description you'll have to download the uni vrm um add-on or the v the uni vrm unity package um i prefer the uh 0 0.66 version but if you want a more updated version that works with vc phase you'll have to use 0 0.89 uh test it at your own risk uh because there are some issues with uni vrm because they are currently trying to update to 1.0 so a lot of the versions are kind of beta sort of so use at your own risk but 0 0.66 and 0 0.89 should actually work as current the making of this video it might change in the future so please keep in mind about that um you should also be able to uh, to download the vsf sdk link in the description for that newest version should be there you can download it and you can click and drag the unity package to your um unity project you also need unity uh, 2019.4.31 that is the current version that VC Face is using for Unity. It might change in the future, but currently as I'm making this video, 2019.4.31 is the only version that works with VSF SDK. You might be able to work with the VSF SDK on other 2019 versions of Unity, but I highly recommend the one I currently am mentioning so that way you don't run into issues. If you have 2018 or 2020, the VSF SDK will not work at all. You will run into issues. Even though it may look like it'll work, it does not work. Um, so please keep that in mind. But once you have your UniVRM and your VSF SDK, you'll be able to make a folder by right-clicking, click Create Folder. You can, um, once you have the folder, you can actually click and drag your v VRM model so that way you can import your VRM. And for my case, I already have the test file here. And now what I'm going to do uh, in order to set up the animation, we have to do right-click create folder folder I'm gonna name the folder animations go here and I'm gonna go ahead and import my FBX animation so let me go find 
the file, test the animation, click and drag it. You do not need to load the textures or anything like that. Um, but basically, here the animation right here looks like this. You don't have to set up the legacy blend shape normal. That's only if you're doing your VRM. You don't have to set up materials. You just need to worry about the rig. You need to set it to humanoid and click on apply. And um, typically I don't really do configure, but just to make sure um, everything's working well, make sure to check if there's any job, but make sure to remove it just to kind of prevent any sort of issues, but it should be fine um, as long as it's mapped properly. Um, but it seems like everything's mapped properly though. Now I can actually extend this um, panel, the FBX little arrow right here and you can actually click right here and you can actually view your animation right here so you can see that the animation is actually working very well it works very well in case by any chance um your animation is not working properly you might want to check blender again uh if by any chance you also include some blend shape animation uh into your face by any chance you might want to try reanimating re it in unity possibly if you want to try and fix that um, but I can't really fully explain regarding the blend shape animation because sometimes some people might have some bugs with it. Uh, so it's kind of like a trial and error. Um, you can animate in Unity on some things. You can animate in Blender. It's kind of like a buggy mess. So I would say experiment your own risk. Uh, if by any chance you do experience some issues, you might want to try checking out Unity forums regarding, uh, how to fix some animations. Because yes, there are times where Unity might be able, might end up accidentally messing up your animation. Just a little heads up warning, you might experience some issues if you're doing blend chip animation or maybe sometimes, uh, let's say you're doing like a, you have a face rig on your character and you're trying to make some facial animation and the face kind of looks broken, there might be some stuff you want to experiment with. Um, now besides that though, if, if you want to loop your animation by any chance, you have to click, uh, you'll have to, um, Basically click on edit for your animation. You'll have to like select looping. So loop time is right here um, So select your like I said select the animation right here select edit up here and make sure to select loop time and apply it If you want to loop it Because uh, some people like I said if you have like a tail or a wing that you animate in blender You want to make sure it loops then there you go if you don't want it to loop at all uh, Then just you know disable the loop time just a little you know a little something there and now um let's go ahead and set up the animation um and if you want to also make sure if you want to also double check to make sure that the animation does work on your avatar you can actually select your you'll have to actually go into window you'll have to go up here you'll have to go into your animation select animation uh and you'll have to go ahead click and drag this to unity right there um, and then you'll have to select your animation, um, give me a second to pull it up, du, du, du. show read, there you go, and yeah, there's the keyframes right there, uh, you can actually copy it, and then you'll have to set up, um, select your avatar, click on create, um, test animation, which is basically, um, when you're doing this, it'll create an anim file, which is basically, a unity specific animation file so I'll go here and then you can copy and paste it and you should be able to test it just to make sure it works if you have if you're using um, mixamo animations or you're using my own um, mocap animation to test it out it may not work because the bow names are not the same so a little heads up there um, regarding that but uh, if by any chance you want to make sure, like if you really, really want to make sure that the animation does work on your avatar, you can actually test out the animation in Blender by using the Rococo Retarget uh, tool. Um, because Rococo Retargeting tool has a Mixamo preset and it also has a couple of others, even the Maya rig. So if you want to test out your animations also, there's a retarget add-on. You can test it on Blender before you can um, export into FBX. Like I said, this is just a couple of stuff I'm kind of rambling a bit because um, the thing is that there are some things that people may want or some extra stuff that people might ask for. So I'm kind of like dropping in some extra information for those who are more advanced users, but also for those who are beginners, if that makes sense that if that makes some sense um but anyways though besides that uh if the animation works really well you can actually use it 
um, and so far it works well for me. So now we have to basically kind of reset them all. So typically I just select on this little, you know, I click this here and I click on test animation again. So that way the mall is back on T-Pose because when you're exporting as VSFSK, the mall has to be a T-Pose. Um, because it's still in the VRM format, but you're turning into VSF avatar. So you can use the animation. So make sure it's on T-Pose. And once you have that, go ahead and load the VSF animations on your component by selecting your model and you'll have your um, VRM metadata here. You just scroll all the way down, click on add component, type in VSF, find VSF animation, which should be the second option and you should find it here. And also, um, and also what we can do now, we can actually go ahead and click on the plus and we can actually set up our animation file here, waving, waving right there. There you go. If you want to set it up um, to a different blend shape, so let's say you want to have like a hotkey for the like a waving animation, you'll have to go into your VRM model. So test VRM. Uh, for my case, I'll go into the blend shapes folder. It looks like this in case you're wondering. So when you import your VRM model, there will be a couple folders. It'll look like this. Select the third folder. You'll have to select the the animation clip that says blend shape. It'll look like this. Do not select this. Do not select this. Select this one right here. That should have all your blend shapes. You'll create a blend shape. Um, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine waving. Select waving. And, you know, just making sure that the name is correct. And you should have nothing there. If you want to have, like, a face on it, sure, by all means, you can actually put, like, a joy face on the waving if you wish. Um, but that's pretty much... Like, you don't have to do pretty much anything else. You can actually just, when you add the new blend shape clip, you don't have to do anything else. But if you want to add face expression, be my guest. But anyway, though, uh, once we have that, we go over here to blend shape and we set up the waving blend shape here. So let me go ahead and set that up. Waving. So now we have the waving animation and the waving. And another little thing also is, let's say you have uh, a dance animation, right? So you have a dance animation, you want your character to dance. Um... I recommend uh, to make sure to click on IK disable when active because what this will do is that it will disable the it'll kind of disable basically the face tracking so that way the character can you know dance while the animation is active that way it doesn't look very derpish when it moves basically but I'll just keep this on because I do want the face tracking to be on um, but yeah and there's also enable preview so if you have uh, if you click on the play button up here you can actually be able to test out the animation and there you go see the animation working really well now we can go ahead and convert this into VSF um, avatar so select your avatar right here select VSF SDK export avatar bundle uh, go find your folder name it wherever you want I'm gonna find my folder right here test avatar VSF avatar and then I'm gonna give it um, a couple minutes or a couple seconds because it's actually pretty fast depending on how much stuff you add to your avatar but it should take a couple seconds in order to convert to VSF avatar and besides that uh, you're pretty much done and let's go ahead and check out the final results all right so now that we have um now we export out the VSF avatar uh, what we're going to have to do now uh, is we're going to set up the expression for it. So in case you don't know uh, exactly how to set up the expression, you can actually check out my ultimate guide to VT Face if you want to kind of understand uh, how the UI works with um, VT Face. But besides that though, let me go ahead and quickly swap over to show you guys the VT Face UI. And here's the VC Face UI. So now uh, what you have to do in order to set up a hotkey for your avatar, you have to go to settings, expression settings, and then you scroll down to find the expression that you made. Whether it's whale tat, uh, like um, a tail ta tail waving or wave of tail or whatever the heck, or um, your ears are waving or something. I don't know what you named your animation. It's really up to you. Uh, or dance animation or something. Um, I don't know the names. But basically, you cl click on waving and then you set up your hotkey. I'm going to set mine to numpad1, override, and then there you go. The animation should work well. And then I can also enable or disable eye blinking or mouse and stuff. And there you go. Wave animation. I can toggle it. And there you go. That is how you set up VSF Avatar humanoid animations using Blender or basically just, you know, just setting up the humanoid an the humanoid component if you're using a pre-existing FBX animation. Because um, once again, uh, 
the VSF Avatar does a pretty good job retargeting uh, when it comes to the humanoid um, component. But yeah, pretty much that's it though. Um, it works pretty well though. And just to also show you in a more advanced example, um, to kind of get you the idea on um, basically the VSF Avatar, uh, here's my model right here. And basically when I do the joy, I can do wing flap. I can also do particle effects. Once again, it is in my previous uh, VSF Avatar uh, tutorial if you are wondering about particle effects toggles or um, anything like that. Um, primarily, I just have wing flap, but yeah, that's pretty much it though. Uh, but yeah, um, if you have any other questions, please let me know. Uh, my Discord tag is in the description if you need it. Um, if you need only 3D help, please, please just DM me. Just add me as a friend. I will accept you. And you can DM me and ask, you know, what issue you're having regarding, like, you know, following the tutorial. Or if you have a suggestion on the tutorial that you wish to, you know, suggest. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you want to join the community and you want to kind of like chill and stuff, you know, you can join my Discord server if you wish. But if you're only here, if you're only needing to contact me for 3D help, then contact me um, on Discord. So, yeah. Um, if you have any other questions, comment down in the tutorial. You know, comment down on YouTube. In the, you know, there's a comment section down uh, so you can ask your question. I will always be reading every single question. I will always answer every comment. So, I'm always active. Uh, so yeah. Um, other than that though, I hope that helps you. And yeah, have a lovely day. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Hey, 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 h